Welcome back to Old Dominion Monarchs. This week, UTEP. We need to take a second, take a breath. Last loss here to the ODU rankings, of course. Kirk's going to pick us, no big deal. Um, you know, we still need to work in turnover differential, rush offense. Perennially is going to be low in pass defenses. The nation's worst. We give up almost 300 yards per game. Uh, this is our last road trip back home for Senior Day. So we're going to make sure to go out with a bang. We'll go over the team leaders here more time before we jump right into it. Blake LaRusa, 160 for 266, almost 2,500 passing yards. That's seven picks. He had a bad, bad week last week, more or less. I did. We'll have to work on that. Jeremy got 10 yards short of 1,100. On the year, he's got 12 touchdowns. Blake has 10 rushing, so he's got 30 total on the year. And then leading receiver with 570 yards and eight scores. Without a moment, moment less to do, let's jump on into this Ugh. game. <laughs> Someone want to call Syracuse? I think they want their stuff back. Bottom tip perennial, UTEP gonna start with the ball here on second and four, and they're gonna pick up a first down deep. On the very next play, read option around the corner, they have blocks. He's gonna get by Elijah, JoJo misses, and Justice comes in for the save. On the dump off screen, and it is down, it's third and 10. On the pass, Blake stops him, but no, he shakes off the tackle and will pick up the first down for 15. Second and 10 inside the 10 yard line on the handoff, Sean Carter and Marvin Branch with the stop. Be third and seven. And deep to the end zone, and he drops it, they had a touchdown in hand. And that'll lead to a field goal, fourth and seven. The hold is down, the kick is up, it is good. UTEP, they're up 3-0 early. Not so much bottom 10, are they now? And that is it. Ohio State has gone down. They lose to Indiana, 35-17. As well as Florida Atlantic, they lost to Western Kentucky. So we are firmly in the driver's seat. Gotta love it. Hand off to Jeremy here. He breaks up the middle. He's got 10, 15, almost 20. 23 yards. Nice. He'll play action to Jeremy there. Cross the middle to Travis. He'll pick up the first down. I uh, love this play. Little play action here. Gonna try and key in on that tight end. And he is open. It's Hassan. Snagging for 30. Yes, sir. We'll hand up up the middle to Jeremy. And he is in touchdown. An easy four yard touchdown run. 7 3. God, I love it. On the pass there, it's off, and he's going to get the first down. Easy, easy. And a nice zip out pass there on the slant, and he's got 21. Ugh, this is just the zone coverage is not good. They're just picking us apart. Second and nine inside the 15, a little read option. Akeem with the stop. Gotta love it, third and two. Gonna hold them here, and oh, Ryan Metz gets met in the backfield. Lawrence Gardner with the tackle. So do you hold him to another field goal here? The hold is down, the kick is up, it's good. It's 7 6. Looking to try to get going here at the start of the second quarter. Blake finds Keon for a first down. On the ensuing play, a little play action. Looking across the middle, and we find Isaiah Harper for 34 more. Uh, the dump off to Jeremy. He'll pick up six. 
third and four. Trying to pick up that first down, and Travis, you drop it in the end zone, you piece of... 10-6 off the field goal. Oh, what a whack there. Gotta love it. Little read option here. Sean Carter, hold him up third and two. Yes, please. Let's bring some heat here up the middle. And they're easily going to pick up a first down. JoJo saving them from picking up six. And up the middle and a sack. Yes, sir. Pat Toll getting in there. Jeremy on the reception. He'll pick up five. Hand up, up the middle, Jeremy shakes off one, shakes off another, he'll pick up three more. Jeremy's going to weave around, he'll pick up a first down, nice and easy. Bruh. <sighs> Isaiah, come on now. Bruh. Bruh. Travis, come bruh. Bruh. They ask Key. you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. No, I'm not fine. Keon, come on. <sighs> on UTEP, they just get a free nice 10 yards right there. I keep it close. On the screen, they get some blocks set up and it's fumbled. <laughs> Lawrence Carter scooping it up. ODU, looking good. Travis. Down. He's in! Yes! He's in! Shake and bake and all the moves, and he is in! Oh, do you taking that turnover to the house? It's 17 to 6 right before half. What a swing! What a swing! And across the middle, they're trying to make something of it. Nothing. Third and inches here. And Miles Fox gets another sack. What a beast. What a beast. Trying to make at least something before half here. 20 seconds to go. Across the middle, Daryl Brown. He'll be at the 40. Sixteen seconds to score on the corner route. Brown, he'll be inside the ten, but we cannot do anything from there. Hold us down. The kick is up. It's good. It's twenty to six, going into the half break. Wait, why is it to the end of the first quarter? It's the half. Half break. Twenty to six at half. I don't know what's wrong with this game. It's broken a lot, all the time. We do get ball to start the second half, though. So we're going to look to try with something. Isaiah, he's all the way up to the 45 after 18-yard reception. Isaiah, he's found a hole. He's got one man to beat to the end zone. And yes, sir, he's got it. 52 yards. He's in. Made that look easy on the post route. We'll see you in the end zone, sir. 27-6. Back again on another ODU driving. Oh, wow, John, you looking slick, bro. Jeremy on the crosser. He'll pick up 15, 24 yards. Gosh, I love it. I love it. Inside the 15, we're going to hand this off to Jeremy up the middle, and he's going to find a hole inside the five to pick up 11 for a first and goal. Might as well let him finish this off. So bash up for another three. And then Keyshawn will finish it off. His second score on the air, it's 34 to six. ODU's running away with it now. The studio update, Georgia and Kentucky are in a tight one. Kentucky's up by one with three minutes to go. Whew. ODU looking to salt this one away. Across the middle to Daryl and he's wide open. 15, 10, 5, and down at the 3, 
44 yards. Blake has torched him. Gotta love it. Yes, please. And across the middle, Isaiah Harper. He is wide open in the end zone. He's got another score. Who do you? Just pouring it on. Put the gasoline on the fire. 41 to 6 in the third quarter. Dump off to the running back for Utah. And Justice and Friends will block him before he's going to get to the end zone. He'll pick up 18. Man coverage a little better there, but they'll pick up first down. Across the middle, Simgal. He is wide open. Jamez is the one man to beat. And Jamez stops him before he picks up 37 and a score. But Utah's driving now. They pick that up and they're in. That's pretty easy. Utah says they're not done yet. 41-13. On the ensuing ODU drive. Blake dropping back, taking a look. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Yeah, we'll better get him next time. He throws a pick. All right. And Metz is going to scramble out of the pocket. And he'll pick up 12. 13, got all. We'll draw a handoff up the middle. And Blake with a stop. Getting his way back in there. Third and nine. And he just gets blown on the coverage. Sean Carter's going to pick up a first down. And Blake gets beat on the man coverage. It was pretty good. It'll be second and one at the two. And up over the middle. What a crab in the back of the end zone. Utah scores. It'll be 41 to 20, so they're mounting a little bit of a comeback here, but it's just a little too late. And Miles, he's going to get in there for his second sack on the day. What a beast. Hmm. Kind of love the joys of editing when you find that you just edit that out. Shame, shame. But, he's going to shake off the sack. And, JoJo, and he's going to just walk it in. 58 yards. You tip something. Keyshawn gets it about the 8. He'll take it up past the 10, up past the 20, to the 30. Almost finds a hole up to the 35. Next play on play action. Keon White, he's going to grab it. He's to the 20, to the 10, to the 5, and he is in. He's in. Cody, one play strike. 48 to 27. That, my friends, is going to be the play of the game. Keon White outlasts the safety as the tight end. And he'll take that in for six. Yes, please. On the drawback, cross the middle. The man coverage is not going to work. Utah just finding holes everywhere for 27. And they'll beat the zone coverage for seven more, but it's not going to be enough. It'll be a turnover. Jeremy up the middle. He'll pick up the first down. We're just trying to salt this one away here. And that, my friends, will do it. ODU wins the game 48-27. to Blake LaRusse had almost 400 yards. Just a great game overall. It's going to be your player of the game. 426 yards of passing. One heck of a game. Old Dominion wins 48-27. And what I thought would easily be a blowout earlier kind of tightened up late, but 
it was no issue. Old Dominion wraps up easy. Blake LaRusa, 196.9 passer rating, 18 for 33, 426, four scores in a pick, along a 65. Jeremy Cox, 17 rushes for 118 and a score. And then Keyshawn Strong, two for six and a score. Receiving. Isaiah Harper led the way, five receptions, 109 yards, two scores, two drops. Travis, three receptions, 94 yards. Keyshawn, two for 77 and a score, long of 40, 65, excuse me. Travis, three for 33 and a score. Four drops though, that's killer. You're creeping up on that list. Jeremy, three for 33. Hassan, one for 30. And Jonathan, one for 20. Defensively, Marvin Branch led the way with six tackles, followed by Justice. We had four sacks on the day, two by Miles Fox, one by Pat Toll, and one by Lawrence Gardner. No turnovers of any kind. And oh, actually, no, I, I do apologize. One turnover by uh, Miles Fox, which was recovered by Lawrence Garner. So, your old Mini Monarchs improve to 7-3 on the year. Actually, that's 8-3 uh, on the year, as that was our 11th game. 523 yards of total offense. 97 of it for rushing. 426 of it for passing. And one pick on both sides. The total yards, 728 with all the kick return yards. So... It's a good day for those guys. Hey, Matt Davidson with the commit. And we got a lot of recruits coming in this week. It's a big week. Yes. Look at all these XP boosts for the finalists. Next week, what I would expect to be a big senior day, Western Kentucky comes into town to face the Old Dominion Monarchs. Kurt, pick him right, pick Old Dominion all the way here as we can seal this Championship USA berth with a win next week. You guys all have to be there to see it. My name is Red, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace.